Happy VA Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about the VA loan in occupancy. This is one of the most confused things I ever see. So first of all, if you're new to the channel, I do a VA video every Wednesday and I do shorts throughout the month as well. Um, like, subscribe, share with a friend. Seriously, there are 20% of veterans that don't even know they have this benefit. So help your friends out, let them know they have this benefit because it is huge. Okay, so let's talk about occupancy because there's a lot of confusion about this. When you are getting a VA loan, you are saying that you intend to occupy that home, okay? Meaning you are going to live there. Now, sometimes people will say, well, I don't wanna live there, but can I just say I'm going to? No, that is what we call lying. I know, I got condescending there, but it's always surprising to me because then people will go like, oh, oh yeah, no, I'm really gonna live there. And I'm like, dude, you just told me you're not. Like, you're li <laughs> like this is uncomfortable for both of us. Are we really doing this? Um, look, you have to intend to occupy the house. So sometimes people will try to use their benefit for family members. So, you know, like maybe their kid's going to college. So they're like, oh, I wanna get a VA loan and I'm gonna move here. And, you know, are they really? No, it's, it's, a, it's a house for their kid. So look, the VA loan means that you intend to occupy it. And we're going to be looking at that. You know, I had someone recently where they were looking to buy a house utilizing VA six hours from their job. And they had to work from the office. And I'm like, hey, this is going to be a problem. Like, this isn't going to meet the occupancy test. And they said, why is it any of your business? And you know, personally, do I care? N no, I really don't. Um, however, it's a guideline. It's a rule. You have to occupy in the house. Do I personally care how you drive to work every day? You know, absolutely not. Like, sometimes I'm curious, right? Like, we get into good conversations about that, but no. So look, lenders have to ask these questions. And we the reason we're asking is because of guidelines. Okay. So look, what's a realistic commute? Um, a realistic commute is going to be something that's under an hour and a half each way. Okay. Because here's the test. If you have to go into the office and you have to commute six hours a day, we all know you're not going to do that every day and that you're going to end up living closer to the office or you're going to get rid of that job and get a new job. So lenders are looking out for that. Now, might you get all the way through underwriting and then at closing the lender figures it out? Yeah, totally. You know, look, there's a lot of lenders where they're not asking you these questions up front. You know, I get the calls where they're like, hey, Jen, I just got declined. I'm supposed to close in a week. Can you save it? And I'll be like, why'd they decline you? And they'll be like, well, they said my job distance is too far. How far is your job? Five hours. Okay. Well, do you have to work from your job? Yes. I'm gonna decline you too because you don't meet the occupancy test, okay? So occupancy is very serious with VA. There's no like, whoa, what it? Just, just don't. Like, look, if you guys wanna play the what if fraud games, I am the worst lender to call. My team is the worst lender to call because we have no patience for it. We're actually trying to make a difference out here and help veterans and give them real information. So when we get into these situations where people are trying to use us to work the system, I get angry. Right, because here's the thing, if one of you guys tries to get us to be corrupt and it affects my ability to do loans, it knocks out my entire team. Yeah, it, it makes it so I can't help other veterans. So we're not gonna play these games, you know, and sometimes people get mad at us about it, but look, you need to intend to occupy the house. It's that simple. Um, okay, what else? Okay, do you have to live there forever? No, this is another thing that's often confused. So sometimes people go, well, wait a second. What if I, I get PCS'd? You know, I, I've only been there six months and I got PCS'd, is that a problem? No, guys, military orders are gonna trump everything. So if you buy a house and then the military relocates you, no problem. If you're out of the military and you buy a house and your job relocates you, no problem. If you buy a house and then six months later, someone gets sick in Nebraska and you have to move, okay, it has to make sense, okay? The situations that don't make sense are, you know, we covered that, it's nowhere near where you actually live. The other thing is, if you have orders already, let's say that you're in Florida and you have orders to go to North Carolina, buying a house in Florida when you know you're moving to North Carolina, that's a bad idea as well. Because then if you go to buy a house in North Carolina, you know, right afterwards, we're gonna say, great, can we see the orders? And guess what? 
we're gonna see that you got a mortgage knowing that you already had orders to go somewhere else, which isn't a good look, okay? Now, um, here's something important to note. You don't have to refinance out of VA when you move out of the house, okay? So if you buy a house, let's say that you're in Florida, and you buy a house and you get pcs to, let's go back to North Carolina, okay? You can turn the Florida house into a rental, and then if you have enough eligibility, you can buy a house in North Carolina utilizing VA as well. So you can have two VA loans at the same time. We can count rent to offset this payment so that you can fully qualify for this house. This does not have to be refinanced into conventional. Okay, the only time you would want to refinance a loan out of VA into conventional would be if you have to free up your entitlement for a larger purchase. So if, for instance, you're moving from California to Hawaii, yeah, odds are this one if you want to keep it and if you want to use VA on this one, this is going to have to be switched to a conventional loan, so you're going to have to have enough equity. The reason I say this with like California to Hawaii or vice versa is because they're incredibly expensive states. So you're gonna need your full entitlement in order to qualify for a home there, most likely, okay? Whereas there's many other states around the country that you might get PCS to, or you might just live in when you're out of the um, military where it's a lower cost of living. I've had clients where they have four to five VA loans at any given time right? It's all about utilizing that max eligibility. So look, the important key takeaways on this one are if you're going to buy a house, you have to intend to live there. It's not for your daughter to live in. It's not for your cousin to live in. It's not for your mom to live in. It's for you to live in. Um, don't play fraud games with us, please. Don't play fraud games with yourself. Life is too short to commit mortgage fraud. There's so many other stupid things you could do with, with less penalties. Um, number three, you don't have to refinance out of VA to use VA again unless you're going into a very high cost area. That's something we calculate with what's known as a more max mortgage worksheet, okay? So look, VA is a wonderful loan. I have seen people build real estate empires with VA. There's just a way you have to do it. And you can do it without doing dirty tricks, without lying. You just need to have a game plan and work it. So if you guys are new to using your VA benefit and you have some high long-term real estate goals or you just wanna learn more about it and you wanna to talk to us, let's get on the phone. I'll help you plan it out. Alyssa and Sandy will help you plan it out. You know, if you plan to serve in the military for 15, 20 years and you just got in last year, let's go. Let's put together a plan, right? Let's put together a real estate plan because you're going to get PCS'd. Um, let's put together that plan, okay? So look, I am licensed in 48 states to do mortgages. I love helping you guys out. You know this. Um, I'm here to support you in any way I can. I hope this clears up some of the occupancy questions that I get a lot. Thanks.